Yo, what is up guys, JD0, bringing you some more Pokemon Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battles. We are about to get into Ko, uh, another person that I got in contact with on a Pokemon Amino through the chat room of some Pokemon battles and trades. Uh, I'm just going to uh, set up the battle rules and whatnot. Uh, but yeah. Uh, I'm trying to get at least two or three matches in, or at least four matches in before I go to work today. And it's, it's one of those things where it's like, uh, uh, uh. Oh, uh, speaking of Cole, we kind of got into a situation where I told him, like, there's no legendaries, no Ultra Beasts used in this match. And he gets to the point where it's like, wait, technically, Latios is not a legendary Pokemon because he goes to the Battle Tree. But, I was like, okay, but if if that was the logical sense, what about um, what's his name? What, what am I looking for? Uh, what about? Turn, I'm trying to think of a name. What about yo know, yo know, Mewtwo? What about the legendary birds? I mean, yes, some of these legendary birds are permitted in the, uh, are allowed in the, uh, battle tree. But again, you have to understand from where I'm coming from, even if legendary birds like those are considered legendary, why are they being permitted into the battle tree? That makes no sense. So... And then I also said no Ultra Beast. I mean, uh, so like, again, look at look. So he doesn't have any Ultra Beast, so that's fine. He does have Latio still. He still has a Tapu, a Tapu, and isn't a Tapu also considered one of those whole things where exactly the same thing what I'm going off about? Because Latios is a Guardian Pokemon. Tapu is a basically a guardian Pokemon. Everything that you're saying is basically because now I'm trying to have to like split everything into that exact category, and that's what I feel like I might have to do when it comes down to this game is split everything down into their separate categories when I'm trying to like set up Wi-Fi battles because. It's like logic is out the door. Like logic is out the door when it comes to certain concept of rules and whatnot. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I'm sorry if it's laggy. It's probably because I just you know turned my computer on and it's pretty hot, so the Wi-Fi and everything is gonna be a little bit laggy. So, like. I mean, it's not laggy when I'm playing the actual game right now, but the recording is going to seem a little bit laggy. So he sent out his Ash Pikachu, uh, well, his, his Pikachu hat, I, I don't even know if these were out yet, bro. I'm not going to go for an earthquake, I'm going to set up the Stealth Rocks right now. Just in case he does switches out, he does switches out. Cause he, I'm, I'm guessing he's not trying to look anywhere towards uh, an earthquake and he's probably predicting my earthquake and that's not going to happen. And I'm just going to put a little two fingers right in front of my Squirtle. Did I get it? Did I get it? There it is. Okay. And I pulled away. So, he sends out that. I'm going to go ahead go for the Ice Punch because I think more physically I should be able to take this thing out with an ice punch. It, ooh, okay, well not as much as I needed to take it out. Do I want to, I want to keep it, so I'm going to switch. I'm going to switch into my um, Apollyon. Because that Psychic does do a pretty good amount of damage. So I don't know if it's a uh, special defense drop. I got a special defense drop. That's not good. 
uh, let's go ahead, go for an ice cream, take out the Latios. Oh, but he switches. I'm pretty sure he's probably already fearing the ice beam. Oh, either way, I'm gonna try to get out Charizard then. Ooh, Charizard. Okay, okay, Charizard. I see you, Charizard. I see you, Charizard. Okay, um. I want to go ahead. Switch in um, back into my Gen 4 and to Gen 1. I'm going to switch into Gen 1, so I'm going to switch into my lot, my uh, Blastoise here. It is a Charizard Y, Mega, so that's good to know. Uh, what move are you going to use? Are you going to use Solar Beam? This is an interesting thing if it uses Solar Beam. It does not use sort of thing, it uses focus blast. That is interesting. And I got the special defense drop. Well, I might as well do the exact same thing, right? Mega versus Mega? Let's go. That's my mascot versus your Charizard. And he does have the another focus blast and it did that literally almost took me out. That oh uh, my blastoise was very lucky at that point. My blastoise was very lucky. It it's a vibe. It's a vibe a crucial thing. So now he sends out his Pikachu. And I'm guessing his Pikachu is his mascot when it comes down to it. Uh, really nothing I could do here. I'm just gonna have to switch out into uh, my third, my uh, Swamper. They're predicting of him using an electric move. Oh, he didn't use an electric move, he used quick attack. Oh, very clever. I'm gonna go ahead, go for the EQ. If he does switches, uh, I'm pretty sure he might switch into something that might survive an EQ. Predicting my EQ, he did. He did switch into something that will predict my EQ. Okay. So that 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 was good. That was good on his prediction. Uh. Oh no, I wanted to, no, I, I, I misclicked, no, I misclicked, oh well, oh well, I, that, that's fine by me, I, I misclicked, that's, that's fine by me, I don't care, I misclick. it sucks when you misclick sometimes, it really does, so I'm just gonna go ahead and send out my fur alligator, and, I'm gonna get a Dragon Dance up. He's gonna go for a Psychic. I mean, I think I should be good at plus one. Generally, I should be good at plus one. I should be able to uh, get off a Ice Beam or Ice Punch at this range. A little quick little ice punch at that range. Not bad. I get a life war boost if anything. So that's good. Good enough for me. He sends out his Pikachu again. I'm guessing he's probably gonna go for another quick attack. Cause really he can't really do anything to well he could still be able to take out my Gen 2 if anything, but I should be strong enough to take out his Pikachu before he takes out me. So that's good, because I'm at plus, plus three right now, since I have the uh, hidden ability, and that should help me out, because hidden abilities always help me out. Uh, it goes with the electric surge. Now, this is where I'm probably feel like I'm not going to outspeed his, uh, I'll speed his Pokemon. 
because and that oh no I am able to outspeed so again plus one still able to outspeed that's that's pretty nice I still get to outspeed his tapu so I mean I guess having legendaries out there is not too bad but again I feel like to be very clear about how the rules are out all legendaries no matter what you say it's like it's a legendary you know and I don't want it in my face you know that's the thing so we're gonna go ahead finish off his big fat uh Hariyama and that is game bro oh no it's not game he still got one more Pokemon he has his Incineroar Oh snap, his Cinderella is gonna get all these water starters like what? Okay. He had major I mean he had like a lot of stuff that could pretty much outtake in my water starters, but it was no chance in hell. I guess you could say no chance in hell. But we end up winning uh five to five to zero. So that was cool. Thank you, Cole, for the battle. We're gonna go ahead and say GG. GG. That was a very epic, awesome battle from Ko. Definitely go ahead and check him up on the Amino. Uh, he just followed me, so highly recommend checking him out. A very good battler. Comment, share, subscribe, that like button, picture, square, shades on, say awesome, guys. Bye.